Hello and welcome to Game Dev Guide. I've always been a big fan of role playing games, most notably the ones with turn based battle systems. And earlier this year, I found myself enjoying the latest in the Pokemon games. Something I've noticed in these new 3D games is that during the battles, when the camera idles, it swaps over into some more cinematic coverage of the field. This is actually a really neat feature that makes the battle feel incredibly dynamic, especially while you're choosing your move and it's the kind of polish that really sets the game like this above the rest. So today, we're going to give this a go ourselves. It's incredibly easy and actually goes a long way to improving game feel. Alright, so first things first, I've spent some time building a little battle scene here in Unity. Everything you see here is off the asset store, it's all free, I'll link them down in the description. So I've set the scene up a bit and set animators on the characters and added a basic button, as well as a super simple battle script. As you can see, our character attacks, then it's our opponent's turn, and then it comes back to us. All of that from the perspective of this single camera. It's possible, but ultimately it's pretty generic for a turn-based game. So let's spice it up with our battle camera. Let's take a second to break up the design. We want to create a system that when the player idles, swaps our camera to a series of cinematic shots that move around the battlefield. We'd also like the camera to focus on the current player in action, so that if it's my turn, we're focused on my character, and if it's the enemy's turn, we're focused on their character. To achieve this, we're going to spread a bunch of tracks around the arena and have our camera swap between them during the battle. Fortunately, Unity has a super handy tool for taking care of this work. It's called Cinemachine, and if you're running the latest version of Unity, you can grab it from the package manager, otherwise it's available on the asset store. So firstly we want to set the camera up, so we'll add a virtual camera. And then once the camera is set up, we'll add a dolly cart component. And add a smooth path track for the camera. And set our camera up to move slowly over time. And if we preview the scene, it's only been a few minutes, but already we've got a slightly more interesting camera. Now we want to create the shots to cut to, so we'll duplicate and place a few more of these tracks around the arena. Then let's create a new script and attach it to our virtual camera. This will take a list of tracks the camera can swap to, as well as a home or default track to use whenever the camera is reset. Every few seconds we'll randomly switch up the track the camera is using. So let's just assign those tracks and take a look. We have a nice opening shot, and then if we idle, the camera swaps to one of the other tracks, making for a much more interesting scene. While this is already miles ahead of where we started, there's always room for improvement, so we'll go into the battle logic and make sure that the camera resets after the player hits the action button. We can also add an extra camera that's focused on the enemy, which we'll switch to whenever it's their turn. And so with a little bit of tweaking, we've got a much nicer, much more impactful battle camera. And that's it for this guide. Hopefully this gives you some ideas as to ways you could implement a system like this. I'm potentially thinking about creating a video that goes over how to put an actual RPG battle system together, complete with movesets, stats, actual UI and everything. So let me know if that's something you are interested in. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. And of course, if you're interested in more game dev tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.